You have to develop an edge to be great at something. I got that. And then, boom, there's something clearly wrong. You're doing your job, umpire? You're pathetic! How much bigger a point can you screw it up with? Couldn't you see anything? From New York, John McEnroe. You either loved him or hated him. But you could not be aware of John McEnroe. I didn't want to be booed. I wanted everyone to clap for me. But if I wanted to be like my There's idols... There's a foot over the line! I did learn you got to be a bit of a lunatic out there. You cannot be serious! Who doesn't mind yelling at an umpire, man? <laughs> Go around the world, meet girls, then party. I was in such an unbelievable high. Number one in the world. I'm the greatest player that's ever played. Why does it not feel that amazing? You always worry. You're too much like your dad. He was a perfectionist. That's my biggest flaw. I was melting down. 37 psychologists and psychiatrists didn't help. It felt like there was no way that it could get worse. But it proved to be incorrect. John's a perfectionist. In his head, it's never good enough. I would dwell on tennis matches when I could have been a better dad. That's the worst feeling. You always hear, do whatever it takes to win, at any cost. Championship to McEnroe! Is it all worth it?